Welcome back Elon gang. Once again, looking at Elon. So what I do want to take note of right here is to follow up from last video is that we said that we had this low over here and then we are where we currently are. If we could push a little bit lower, that would be good because then what we do start to see form a bit better from this point is that we have bullish divergence on the RSI. If you look back to what is that July 11th comparatively to right now, RSI made a lower low while if we were to look back at that date, July 11th doo -doo -doo, was low all the way back here. And what do you know? That would be putting us at a higher low. So what we would need to see happen right now is a some type of reversal come into play. And that would be more so a confirmation of uh, the divergence playing out. What I would want to see to necessarily confirm this move would be uh, getting a pushback on up to where my cursor is at, at about that 1463 mark. Now the other portion that we need to really pay attention to here is going to be this yellow, orange, red, brown box, whatever freaking color it is. Um, you need to definitely pay attention to that because you could get that bullish divergence come into play right here. That gets you the pump up to there. You get a harsh rejection and then you get sent back on down. Why would that even end up playing out? Well, it just looking at the market structure and overall support resistance, that is going to be a potential resistance flip point because, well, that was your prior support, which you can see right with the box in itself, that was a low. Overall, these candle closures either held above or in the box. Uh, you did get some wicks below, but that's not the point. That's where the closures were. Closures are the bigger picture. Um, and then this is kind of where you just broke down from. So coming back on up, getting resistance and then getting sent lower is very possible. But... That's why I just want to make you guys aware of this. So furthering from here, what we could start looking for is the smaller time frame. Let's go into, let's say the hourly. Do we notice anything here necessarily as of yet? Uh, I wouldn't say anything really. Um, the only thing is that you are getting really, really close down to that low that we set on July 11th. That is once again at about roughly 1378 and the low that we have right now that just had taken place is at 1403. So pretty much 14 flat. Uh, we currently are at 1422. So we did come up a little bit from that. But in the, like I said, the hourly time frame, we don't see anything uh, flipping bullish, at least not as of yet. Um, other than that, that's really going to be about it for the video. I still stand by the major level that you need to get above is this purple line at 1627, 1625. Um, other than that, though, that is going to be about it. So none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. If you guys are feeling extra spicy and want to help out the channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff. Maybe even give it a good share. Um, and yeah, so none of this financial advice, just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios muchachos.